I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 9, page 438. We are reviewing linear systems. Get ready for your test. The question here is, what volumes of 60% hydrochloric acid solution and 30% of hydrochloric acid solution must be mixed to make 125 milliliter of 36% hydrochloric acid solution? Now, my approach here is, to represent this information in kind of a graph I mean figure okay so we have these two solutions which are mixed to give the third kind of a solution so that is how we begin with so so they are just mixed here and we, that is what is the result okay now what is mixed these are all hydrochloric solutions and what do they have they have 60% concentration right so first one let us say it is 60 percent concentration the other one is 30 percent concentration they are mixed to give you 125 milliliters so the quantity is 125 ml of 36 percent so from here let us say we are mixing x and y quantities right so you have to define these variables you'll say these are hydrochloric acid solutions, right? So HCl is the formula. So hydrochloric acid solutions, 60%, we are taking X milliliters and Y milliliters of 30%. Define your red, red statement, okay? So I'm not writing that. So we have X milliliters of 60% hydrochloric acid and Y milliliters of 30% hydrochloric acid. They are mixed to give 36% of 125 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So we write down the equation. X plus Y should be equal to 135. That is my first equation. This second equation is relating the concentration, which is 60% of X. 60% 60 is 60 over 100. So I will write 0 0.60 of X plus 0 0.30 of y is equal to 0 0.36 of 125 the total quantity do you see that oh it was 125 okay so that is how you get two different equations now you can solve these equations by elimination or substitution now let me use uh, substitution method here this time so we will from the first equation write what y is so y is 125 minus x so i get that as y relation with x let me call this as equation one this as equation two so now we will sub one in two right so that is what we will do so what do we get so y is 125 minus x. So we'll write 0 0.6x plus 0 0.3. Instead of y, I'll write 125 minus x equals 2. Now we can use calculator, multiply these quantities. 0 0.36 times 125 equals to 45. As you can see, we have equation only in x now. So let's solve for x. 0 0.6x plus 0 let's multiply this okay so 0 0.3 times 125 equals to in decimals 37.5 so let me write this as 37.5 minus 0 0.3x equals to 45 let's combine the like terms 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.3x and we'll take this number on the other side. So we get 45 minus 37.5. Now x is equal to their difference, which is 45 minus 37.5 divided by 0 0.3. So let's do that part. So we have 45 minus 37.5 equals to divided by 0.3 equals to 25. So we get x as 25, right? Since we know x, we can substitute this value in our equation number 1. So we get y equals to 125 minus 25. That gives us 100, correct? Now, write down your answer. So we have the answer. That is, we need 
25 milliliter of 60 percent hydrochloric acid solution and 100 milliliter of 30 percent hydrochloric solution okay that becomes your answer and that is how you should be doing i hope that helps thank you and all the best